grasp this because this is the, the essential nub of the uh, problem. We are not dealing with the problem of the 1967 boundaries. That is not the problem. Because before the 1967 war broke out, and when the Arabs had all of the land that they now claim must be given back to them or else there will be no peace, there was still no peace. And when the so-called moderate King Hussein of Jordan, who daily trumpets the fact that there will never be peace unless Israel gives up East Jerusalem, when King Hussein had East Jerusalem in 1967 and went to war, the question arises, why? It is eminently easy to give easy answers. If we give up land, there will be peace. If we don't give up land, there will be peace. Demagogues say that because the truth is that there will not be peace no matter what Israel does. And we're not speaking here of peace. We're speaking here of Jewish survival. A survival which is threatened by the Arabs who massacred Jews in the 1920s before there was a Jewish state. What in the world possessed the Arabs in Hebron, in Hebron in 1929 to massacre 67 Jews in one day? Who incited them then? Kahana? Who wasn't even born? Begin? Who was a tiny child in Poland? No one incited the Arabs in 1929. What incited the Arabs in 1929 was an idea, Zionism. That is what they oppose, not Mayor Kahana, not Zionist hawks or Zionist doves. What bothers the Arabs is Zionism, a Jewish state of any size, of any shape, and of any form. Peace? 